Everything works better, not when we want more, but when there's this gratitude of what he has given us. So look, marriage works best when I am grateful that God gave me my wife. Everybody I meet wants new revelation. I don't know how else to say it but that. Like everybody, they want new revelation. They don't, however, want to be obedient to what they already know. They want what's next. They want, teach me something new, or we could do what you already know, you know? Uh, you growing in truth, hear me, and I'm not talking intellectual understanding. You growing in truth is inseparably connected to you practicing the truth that you know. Like if you've got a moment where you went farther than you ever thought you could go, where you went darker than you ever thought possible, where you felt so dirty and angry and in that moment, Christ cross mine, your mind. That is profound. That is profound. He's trying to unpack these reasons for you to violently and lustfully, lustfully pursue Christ at all cost. Because he's saying if you get all of these things, like if you clean up your life and you never struggle again, like you never struggle with lust and you never, you clean up your life on the outside and make it look like the Christian community says it's supposed to look but you don't get Jesus, you've lost. Who cares? So he's going, no, 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 don't let that be the goal. Don't let that be your goal. Don't let your goal be, I'll be a good person or I'll live like this. Let the goal be him. Let it be him. So he says, I count it all as rubbish. Those are good things. They're not bad things. They're not evil things. He's just saying they're rubbish next to you. I count them all lost. I'll walk away from all of them if I get you. To live is Christ, to die is gain. This is the message of this letter. That life is lived for him, to him, through him, with him, about him. Everything about him.